Hey my friends, what's going on? Kato here on a beautiful, beautiful day, my friend. I hope you're having a great day. And in today's video, I want to talk about which social media platform is best to build your business. Now, if you know recently that Instagram, if you're part of Instagram, start what's called Instagram Stories, going after Snapchat. For a lot of you who are Snapchatters out there, you know, just know that information. Um, if you're using Snapchat, you're building, know that Instagram now is after doing the same thing. But stay tuned, I'm going to give you some massive value in this video. All right? Anyway guys, which social media platform, people ask me that all the time, which one should I use, Cater? There's so many of them, I'm not on any of them right now, I'm just getting started, or I don't have a business profile, should I get a business profile? These are my answers, I'll be answering some of these questions. Number one, which one of the social media platform that you should use to build your business? All of them! <laughs> All of them, as long as you can build a following there. That's what matters. Because here's what you must realize. If you're building a social media platform, and the only reason you're actually building it is just to have friends and family, you know, people like that, uh, that's cool. You can be on whatever you want. You can just be on Facebook and you're done. The goal, if you have a business now, you want to build a business, the goal is to be where your clients are, where your potential clients, where your potential customers, wherever they're hanging, that's where you want to be hanging because the money is where the mass is, right? The money is where the mass is. So if you're trying to build your business using social media, you should be on as many as you can. Now I know it takes time for you to learn Twitter, Facebook, you know, there's so many of them out there that you can get confused. But you want to be at least using the main ones, okay, the main ones, Facebook, Instagram, right, Twitter, um, YouTube. Those are the main ones that people are focusing and investing their times and watching what's going on. Snapchat now is another one. So. What I want you to understand is that when you're building a business, you must have a business mindset. So you must transition from, hey, I just want to have a Facebook that just have my friends on there. You must transition from that mindset and understand that your Instagram or your Facebook is a tool. You must use it as a tool to bring you more clients, as, as a tool to communicate to with more of your prospect, as a tool to enable you to get connected with thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions and hundreds of millions and billions, right? Billions even of people all over the world who can see your product, who can buy something from you. So what I want you to keep in mind is that I'm going to build the main one. So if you're not using Facebook, I'm going to build this Facebook, okay? Like a lot of my friends and people know that when I'm posting on my Facebook wall, I am posting mostly for my clients, you know, my friends, if you are my friends, I can't call you, have your number, I'll call you on the phone or we'll go out, we'll talk, I'll do whatever. But my main purpose of using this social media, like me making this video, it's not for my friends or my dad or my mom. If I need these people, I can call them on the phone. But I'm actually making this video so I can reach you. You who's actually watching on the other line who's trying to build your business. So if you have a Facebook, you don't have 5,000 friends on your main profile, your goal is to get to 5,000 prospects, not go out there to the club and start meeting people that have no interest in business and start adding them as your friends. Those people will never buy from you. So yesterday I made a video, I'll put the video in the link below talking about how to make $100,000 just using Facebook free, free advertising, no money, no pay at all. I made my first 100K using Facebook free platform. Now you can create the same thing inside of your business. I put the link to that video there. You can watch it. So which one is better? 
is the one that you grow the most, the one that you get the most exposure, the one that you build the most. There's some people, they on Twitter, their Twitter is amazing. They have a crazy following and people listen to them. They do exactly what they say. There's people who are on Snapchat. They are able to get people to leave Snapchat and go to the website by marketing on Snapchat. There's people who are on Instagram. They are selling every single day. Their business are rocking. They're making money. There's people who are on Facebook who are crushing it. Are you one of those people? See, if you are not one of those people, you're using social media the wrong way. If you're not producing income, you are not expanding your message, you're not expanding your reach. People are not swiping the credit card on your name every single day due to the fact that you have a Facebook account where you're doing it all wrong. Okay? So your goal is not which one you should use, it's which one you're going to build. So what I look is if you come in in the game, look at the one who's been here for long term and look at the one that that's not going to be an overnight um, social media and be gone tomorrow. Like stuff like Facebook, if you build that, it's been going for years, for over 10 years and you're going to keep going and keep being better. So you should have interest and goal to build that one social media platform. Stuff like Instagram who's been here for years. You know, there's going to be other one that comes in the market. So learn how to be a trendsetter. Like a trendsetter is someone who set the trends for the market. So if something comes out, I don't want you to be, because as a human nature inside of us, whenever we see something new, we tend to repel it because we like to stay in the status quo. But as an entrepreneur, you want to flip that mindset. You want to go where the crowd is going. The crowd is very, they want to, their mind is always on what's new, what's coming out, what's new, what's the new thing. You know, they innovative. They want to get to the new stuff. So you want to set the trends as anything new comes out. I don't want you to keep having the old mindset of repelling anything that's new. You want to go check it out. Go see what's going on on there. Go see how the crowd is moving. What's moving around there? How can you get your business on there? How can you get people from there to go to your website to build your business? And now you start becoming a guru in that field and everybody start following you. So you become a trendsetter. So Cater, which social media you should use? All of them, wherever you can reach your client. Like right now, if someone is watching this video, I use YouTube to reach out to you. But there's some people, I use Facebook. There's some people who never goes on YouTube. There's some people who never goes on Facebook and you ended up watching this video. So what I want you to understand is not about which social media is better. It's about where is your client? Where is the people that you can reach out with your message? Where are those people hanging out? And once you figure that part out, you can create massive income for yourself. Okay, so if you don't have a Facebook, watch the other video that I created on how to create $100,000 on your Facebook by building your friends, business acquaintance, business partners, how to build your Facebook profile. Facebook calls them friends, but I call them business partners, potential clients, potential customers. So you want to build that to 5,000 people, build your YouTube to as many as you can, hundreds of thousands, and start crushing it, okay? So whatever, wherever the eyeballs are, that's where you want to be. You want to be on everything that you can put your hands on and start crushing it, okay, guys? That was Kato with a quick video for you. I hope you like it. If you do, leave me a comment below. Like this video, share it. Share it with your friends and other people. And also invite someone to this channel. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to keep creating great content like this one every single day that's going to help you inside of your business and help you take it to the next level. If you're a newbie, if you're just getting started, and if you're looking for someone to help you to, to take you by the hand and help you see the rope, right? I have a coaching program. I'm going to put the link to my coaching program below this video. Check it out. You know, go to it and apply. And if you are fit to work with me so we can make it happen and crush it together to a whole next level, help you build your social media account, help you build yourself to, a, you know, to the whole next level inside of your business, to the level of success that you're looking for, 
go ahead and fill out the application. I'll put the link below. That was Cater. I hope you have a massive, amazing day. You'll crush it out with this information. Keep in mind, the goal is not to have social media. The goal is to use social media to get in touch with your clients. So it's not which one is better, but it's actually which one that's getting you out of there, which one that's bringing you more clients, that's making you more sales, that's helping you grow your message and expanding your reach and help other people. Anyway, guys, that was Cater. Like this video. I'll see you guys later.